Hello guys, uh, this morning I got up and I saw the message from Kyle, the CEO of One Wheel, who was uh, trying to fix their reputation problems that they are facing the last weeks or months around their products. Uh, he was sharing a lot of things that, uh, well, in the community they have been sharing. Jimmy Chang has been extracting the key uh, points he was sharing and also there was a, an answer from Jake who said that well future motion continues telling lies and well um, it was funny because at some at one point Kale was mentioning uh, intellectual property and it is a bit funny because if we see this okay which is the logo of uh, one wheel the logo is pretty similar very very similar to on ill okay so you can see that sounds it sounds very similar also one ill one ill and one wheel right one ill one wheel and it sounds similar the logo is almost exactly the same if you see okay now this is a bit different there are around it it's like on a square with rounded uh, edges okay exactly the on ill <laughs> You can see here the, the, the letters. So also the fonts, the letters, they are inspired. Uh, you can see this L. I mean, there are similarities in the sound, one ill, one ill. Uh, the logo is almost similar. Uh, and also the letters, the fonts, they are pretty, pretty similar also. They are square with rounded edges. I think they really got inspired, one wheel in O'Neill. Uh, logo and brand okay and of course this is intellectual property but I'm just saying uh, they were inspired okay and if they were inspired in things that they were already in the market is uh, because uh, it is normal I mean this is evolution evolution is based on things that were previously created and then people evolve okay why one wheel uh, took as a reference on ill right Okay, look at the feelings. What is O'Neill? Okay, what inspires you? Okay, look at this. And uh, this is racing. Okay, it's extreme sports. Look at this guy. This guy could be riding a one wheel. You can see it's extreme. He's, uh, he has the, the, the look that one wheel was looking for the riders. Okay, they were trying to inspire people to become radical, get radical by riding a one wheel right and they took us a reference one nail right and for example the xr what does it mean xr the one wheel xr is also uh, inspired in extreme racing okay or extreme sport Pro i don't know which it means xr but probably it's extreme racing or something like that okay or extreme riding yeah so uh, of course they 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 are not an example of intellectual property Right? But it is normal uh, that people and brands and companies that got inspired in things that they saw previously and they tried to evolve that. Uh, the evolution of um, the market of um, these single wheel uh, sc scooters, uh, it's been completely removed because uh, one wheel ha is been, has been facing any kind of attempt of creating something uh, based just on a scooter with one wheel, right? So it's been in the past, uh, uh, one wheel has been fighting everyone. As, as you can see, every time there is any kind of project of do-it-yourself uh, single wheel uh, project or initiative, suddenly the, you can see the website and the project, it's abandoned, okay? And it's abandoned because most probably the attorneys of one wheel they contact these creators and they tell them that they are infringing intellectual properties um, uh, laws, right? And, and of course, as these are little creators, they don't want to get into trouble and they just abandon, okay? The only brand that I've seen that they have faced a one wheel in order to keep creating their product because their product looks completely different. As you can see, it, it looks different, but it is inspired in in a similar idea is just uh, a skateboard or something like that, a board with a one wheel, right? But, but of course, uh, I think that Kyle and Future Motion, they should focus on being the best in this market and not just try to be the only one.
the market. Okay? By trying to remove any kind of competence, if they don't create the best product, and it seems that now the, the one wheel GT is facing some technical issues that probably they will fix very soon, but uh, being the only one in the market, it's very frustrating for people because there are no more options. And if people, for some reason, they are not happy with the proposal of the product that they are offering, uh, the, the, the strategy of future motion is that, okay, uh, but there are no more options, right? And this, it's not fair for the community, for other riders, okay? What future motion needs to do and should do is to create the best product in the market and don't try to remove any kind of competence in the market. It is normal. You can see the market of the cars, the market of the trucks, the market of the bikes, motorbikes. I mean, it is a market now, this, this one wheel or this single wheel scooter, right? It's a market. And what they need to do is to try to be the best in the market not just the only one. And that's all from my side. These are my thoughts. This is what I wanted to share today with you, all the community. And, and well, we will keep this conversation going. That's all from my side. Thank you so much and bye-bye.